European leaders have agreed that they need to take responsibility for their security and not just rely on the United States. The agreement was reached at a meeting of European political community in Budapest. The meeting took place in the wake of Donald Trump's impending return to the White House as the continent mulls a change in approach once the Republican assumes office. Speaking after the meeting, Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban said there had been diverging opinions during a day of discussions. But some common ground, including a need to respond to Trump's victory and a desire for peace in Europe as soon as possible. There was an agreement that the American election results should be reacted to. We need to know that big changes are coming and we need to react to it. There was an agreement that there should be peace in Europe as soon as possible. There was also an agreement that Europe should assume greater responsibility for its own peace and security in the future. To put it even more bluntly, we cannot expect Americans to be the only ones to take care of us. Viktor Orban also hailed the return of Donald Trump with whom he shares a good relationship. I would also like to conclude my personal relationship with the elected American president with this answer. He is the president now, and I just want to say this in closing. So they wanted to put him in jail, but they wanted to confiscate his assets, they wanted to kill him. And I'm always proud to be able to fight together with those who are trying to assert the will of the people against the current power elite. This is called democracy. This is what happened. During his address on Thursday, French President Emmanuel Macron called on the leaders to defend Europe's interests. Macron went on to say that the continent should assert its security independence in the wake of Beijing and Washington's geopolitical rivalry. Like many of you, I had the opportunity yesterday to speak with President-elect Donald Trump, whom some of us around this table met four years ago in his previous position. He was elected by the American people and he's going to defend the interests of the Americans and that's legitimate and that's a good thing. The question is, are we ready to defend the interests of Europeans? For me, it's simple. The world is made up of herbivores and carnivores. If we decide to remain herbivores, the carnivores will win and we'll be a market for them. The meeting was overshadowed by Trump's victory in the American election and the collapse of Germany's ruling coalition. The German Chancellor Olaf Scholz did not attend the meeting. The European political community was set up after Russia's 2022 invasion of Ukraine to link the EU and friends such as Britain and Ukraine itself. Ukrainian President Zelensky also addressed his counterparts, stressing the need for a strong alliance between Europe and the US. NATO Secretary General Mark Ruta also spoke on the growing geopolitical tensions across regions, be it North and South Korea, be it West Asia crisis and, of course, the ongoing Russia-Ukraine war. So these are really uh, dangerous new developments and we need to discuss that today, but I also look forward to sit down with President Trump and to navigate how collectively we'll make sure that we face this threat and that we keep our part of the world uh, safe. During his first term as the US president, Donald Trump had threatened to withdraw from NATO, claiming that European members were not equal contributors to the bloc and that Washington was footing most of the funding. During his 2024 presidential campaign, the Republican had repeated that he will reevaluate the country's role in the military alliance as part of his America first approach to foreign policy.